pleasure to read the citation for the Darwin Wallace Medal. The Darwin Wallace Medal is awarded to individuals who have made major advances in evolutionary biology. Professor James Lake has made a number of highly significant contributions toward understanding diverse aspects of genome evolution across all kingdoms of life. These include discovering informational and operational genes, developing the complexity hypothesis for horizontal lateral gene transfer, and rooting the tree of life, topics on what, on what he's published over um, 160 papers. The award to be made this evening most specifically recognizes Professor Lake's seminal contributions to elucidating the new animal phylogeny. In the mid-1980s, it was becoming clear that ribosomal RNA sequences could be used to determine metazoan relationships. Interpretation of the trees was complicated, however, by the problem of long branch attraction, LBA. By developing new uh, algorithms that were less sensitive these, to these LBA artifacts, Jim was able to show that the Annelida mollusca lineage is the sister group of an arthropod subgroup. This finding was contrary to the articulata hypothesis that was nearly universally endorsed at that time. With the advent of PCR and the increased ease of sequencing ribosomal DNA in the uh, 1990s, Jim's lab began to focus on the bilateral animals and recognized that there were questions over the placement of the, the four eight animals, the bryozoans, rhinids, and brachiopods. During a visit to the University of Texas, Jim met Ken Hallinch, described the project and invited him to UCLA to work in the Hillis lab, which was then sequencing vertebrate genes. A productive collaboration was established between the Hillis and Lake labs, and clear DNA-based evidence soon emerged, indicating that the lophophorates were not deuterostomes as had been widely believed. In fact, they were most closely related to the mollusca and the clay. The result of this collaboration was the creation of a new superphylum, the Lophotrophozoa, containing mollusks, annelids, lophophorates, and other animals. Shortly after this, the Lake Lab teamed up with James Carey, then at Duquesne University, with Rudy Rapp at Indiana, with Clint Turbull at Michigan, and as in his early work, Jim quickly recognized that long branch attraction was a severe problem to the most rapidly evolving nematodes. And Jim Gary was able to provide our DNA sequences from a number of slowly evolving nematodes in order to bypass this difficulty. This careful sampling was the key to showing that the multi-animal formed a clade called the ectodiazoa, a second protostomian superphylum system to the lophotrophozoa. Today, these early ideas are broadly accepted and have led to a radically new view of bilateral animal evolution, profoundly stimulating studies into the early evolution of bilateral animals. The result has been a revolution in our understanding of animal evolution. And Professor Lake's pioneering studies laid the foundation for the new animal phylogeny. For this seminal contribution to advancing the study of evolution, I'm delighted to present Professor James Lake with the Darwin Box Medal for 2011. making this an annual award, since I don't think I could have held out for another 48 years. <laughs> I also want to thank my mentors, Alan Wilson and Colin Patterson. Every time I enter this room, I still expect to see Colin here, and hear his booming voice from the back of the room. There are some of the people in this room that are going to be leading the way in the future, such as 
Max Telford and Tim Littlewood and Martin Embley and Bill Martin, who could not be here today. Once again, I thank you.